Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert, and welcome to Obesity Week. Yes, this is the week which I have dedicated to obesity, so the blog is going to be all about everything you need to know about obesity. So let's start at the beginning with what is obesity? So the World Health Organization, WHO, state that obesity is a medical condition where there is an abnormal or excessive fat accumulation and this can present um, health risks. So obesity is a medical dish condition. It's a metabolic disorder. So it's a disorder in the energy balance. And this, uh, it, it's a disorder and an imbalance in the way the body stores or burns energy. So it's favoring the storage of the energy, that's it. And fat is the primary way that we will store energy. So it is this excess fat accumulation, okay? Now, the question that needs to be answered is a why? What triggers this? What creates this imbalance? Now, it's multifactual, but at the end of the day, we're not born obese. So something has to happen. So we have to, in some way, change this very fine balance between how we store and how we, and how we burn energy. And this is very often started by some imbalance in the amount of nutrients that are coming in and the amount of nutrients that we need to use. And it could be things like, you know, starvation diets. If you do this enough time, then your body doesn't, it doesn't sort of spring back to its normal uh, balance, uh, it will maintain this uh, this uh, yeah, imbalance as such. So it could be to do with the amount of nutrients that come in, but I also believe that it could also be due to excess burning of nutrients. So these endurance type sports or these extreme sports, I'd rather say more than the endurance type sports where where possibly Ironmans are doing Ironmans back to back or, you know, 100, 100 miles, 100 kilometers runs or things like this, you know, the extremeness in the sports where you are burning lots of calories or lots of energy and you're not necessarily replacing it where the other way around you're not eating a lot of nutrition so you're on a bit of a starvation diet we've all tried them uh, so you're not getting the nutrients in to help with the uh, the energy needs that you have so there's this imbalance that is created okay now if you do this continuously, so hey, we've all been on a diet, haven't we? And, and especially in our teenage years, we were all on these low calorie diets or these starvation diets. We've all done this, but it's not all of us that end with obesity. Um, so it's multifactorial, but somewhere along the line, it has to be triggered in some way with this imbalance with how much energy is coming in contra how much you need to, to come to put out, okay? So we're gonna talk a lot about this. Now, Now the, the fundamental problem here is that uh, the, the body has evolved to resist fat burning. <laughs> yeah. The biological drive to maintain weight is enormous. And it, this is coordinated by your hormone system, your nervous system, your gut, your immune system. There are so many systems which coordinate this, uh, this, this balance between how much you burn and how much you store. And once this goes out of balance, then it is very difficult to regain that balance as many people who suffer with obesity actually do uh, suffer with every single day. Mm. Okay. Now, all of this coordination is controlled by an area in the brain called the hypothalamus. And I call this area the commander in chief because it is the controlling area that will dictate which hormones are produced, which other chemicals produced, how much you burn, how much you store, etc., etc. It's going to coordinate all information which is coming into this area and it makes a decision about if you're going to restore energy or if you're going to burn it. So there's lots and lots and lots of studies looking at this area and I think that we will probably find the answer there and, uh, and hopefully we will be able to prevent and at the very least, we will be able to give effective treatments for uh, these people who do suffer with obesity. So 
that's what obesity is and uh, I will be back with more information um, about uh, how to treat it, how to measure it. I think we're going to have a look at how to measure it next. Okay, happy hormones, happy life.